every single developer's journey, there will come a point where you will need other developers to help you progress in your journey. After all, you can't really make everything yourself as a starter dev. This said, one of the trickiest things for starter developers is meeting other developers, other equally ambitious developers at least. Honestly, when you're starting, meeting devs is not a really complex process, but it can be a long process, even if what I'm about to tell you is just like a two-step plan. You will have to still put in the work. I'm sure that you haven't heard the things I'm about to mention in this video, so stay till the end and listen carefully. Okay, so what's the best and most realistic way to meet other devs? I'll answer that question, but first, let me tell you a quick story. Back in 2020, 2021, when I was a baby dev, I really didn't know how to meet other developers or how to network. I feel network would be a better word because you don't really want to just meet other developers. You want to create a friendship with them, right? Develop some kind of relationship. So I didn't have any idea on what I was really supposed to do. And it wasn't until this year, 2023, that I realized how to do it effectively. Literally, until just a couple of months ago, I didn't really know any other devs other than my cousin, but he really doesn't count because his family, I was lucky enough to get a dev in my family. But chances are, you don't have this, so I won't count him. I'd always be doing my projects alone, but halfway through a project, I reconnected with one of my old friends from back in the day. And back then, he was trying to make a game. And when I met him again a couple months ago, the game hadn't really been completed. It just so happened that they needed a scripture, so I offered to help him with the game. Now, listen closely. I didn't ask him for payment. I just worked first, almost like as a favor. Of course, in the game at this point, since it's very developed, we've decided to do percentage, but I didn't ask him to pay me for the work. And this is what the video will be centered around. Stick with me here. So the first thing you want to do if you want to meet other developers, literally the baseline for it will always be being able to provide value. At the very least, you need to have mastered the basics of your work in order for you to meet other developers. This might sound ruthless, but it is absolutely obvious and true. Even if you work for free for someone, even if you offer to work for free, if you don't know what you're doing and you just keep messing up the work, they won't really want you there. You'd be useless at that point. So step one is mastering the basics. Notice how I say the basics of your skill. If you know the basics, you can actually do a lot of things. You might as well call this step zero instead of step one. But now let's move to step two. All right, so step two is going to be finding the other devs. Notice how I say finding the other devs, meaning you putting in the work, not them finding you, you finding them. A lot of people will tell you to create a Twitter account, to set up a Discord with your portfolio to do this, to do that. And sure, it might be better than nothing, but if you really want to make sure that you meet other developers early on your journey, you're the one who wants to be doing the outreach. For this, you'll be using the talent hub. Basically, the talent hub is a place where people post like job opportunities for devs so that they can help them with projects and stuff. You want to go there and start applying for jobs that you think you might be able to help with. You might have to set up a portfolio. It doesn't really need to be anything fancy. It can be literally just a Google Doc. But honestly, it's really not that hard to do. It doesn't really have to be anything fancy. But you will have to spend a good amount of time on this. However, if you do this enough, people will start getting back to you about projects and stuff. And there's where you tell them that you'll do whatever you're trying to do for free or for percentage, depending if it's available or not. Of course, say percentage first and if they say no then you say for free because if you say for free at first they're just gonna say like okay we're for free but a lot of people might now be like why do i gotta work for free i deserve money blah 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 you gotta remember that your goal here is not to make money or robots but rather to network and here's where some real weird psychology starts getting into play when you work directly for other people for free, you're still getting a reward even if it's not money or robux. So stick with me here. Every time you give something free to someone, it's never actually free because the other person will feel the need to repay you. And since instant money is not how they'll repay you, there's a good chance they'll repay you with something else. And then it's when you get what you wanted. What do you get? You might get a friendship, you might get a favor, you might get money, you might get attention. Of course, money meaning in the future because you're going for percentage, of course. And listen, I know it sounds dark and shallow what I just said. I really do. But like, if you really think about it, nothing's really free. If I were to give you like 10,000 Robux right now face to face, you'd feel a psychological pressure to some degree to give back the favor. That's just how it is. This is how this type of things really work, regardless of if you're aware of it or not. This is why working for free at the beginning will always be better. Now, this is bad if you don't have morals and you just start manipulating this person and trying to just use them and then ditch them. But if you approach them with the intent of creating a friendship, helping them with their projects that you respect, it's perfectly fine. It's literally just your 
your intention that really determines if it's a bad thing or not it's just how it is don't just go on creating and setting up all this stuff like twitter a perfect portfolio and stuff because if you're new and you don't have a lot of experience chances are no one will really find you and even if they do chances are that they won't really want you chances are you don't even know how you're gonna direct traffic to your twitter or portfolio or whatever i mean some people say like go into other developers portfolios or find other projects and just comment underneath them someone might find you bro what the f like you think someone's gonna click on your profile because you commented something inter nah bro that's not how it works i mean even if you say in one of those comments like i'm a developer and i'm looking for work you're like bro like realistically speaking even if people click on your twitter profile it's gonna be like yeah but you're not that experienced i don't really want nothing to do with you it's just how it is like if you're starting you're better off just working for free because then you just get experience as well and you just meet other people it, it is what it is man like i know it's not like the sexy answer that you wanted to hear but like it is what it is this is what you have to do if you're starting you will not progress any faster at the beginning other than working for free for a little bit and just meeting people i did this i not only got experience but then i also met some pretty cool devs as well and the best part about this is that even if the devs that you meet are not really that experienced right now in a year's time they might actually progress a lot as i told you the friend that i met like three years ago when i met him again his skills bro had been like multiplied by 10. you can save all that twitter stuff for when you're a little bit more advanced maybe intermediate but yeah i'm not using that conventional advice that everyone's talking about and i feel like there's a better way for this and i just wanted to get my take on it anyways that's all i got for today bro i hope this helps you keep leveling up be safe and i'll see you when i see you peace